All right, so Midnight not going to play around this time, at least this game yep. anyway. Going to start with the Palu. No Incin, no Young Link, none of that. We are getting into it here. Palu, Palutena versus Pokemon Trainer, Grand Finals of Advantage State, number 85. 85 is crazy, by the way. Yep, very wow. true. All right, Big damage, 49 there. And now you have to land versus Palutena, so good luck. Uh, you found, <laughs> found a way down, but how many times will you be able to find a way down is kind of the, the key, I, I feel like. I don't know. As long as, uh, as long as you know, the last frame of up air is nowhere near you. Yes, yes. You went, you had some of that today. But I sure did. I sure did. I yes. was nowhere near that up air, and I lost a set. You did. It's true. <laughs> but. Dash attack, the weak hit. Yep. That's the type of thing. Like, Palu's juggle game is so, like, strong. It's so broken. Yep. And it's so hard for, for many characters to deal with because of how... Um, because of how she can cover so much, like the dash attack just covers yeah, landing with uh -huh. the hitbox like at all times. It's and notice awesome. there how even a charge out at such a high percent there gets hit with that down tilt, and it's just so free to hit him with, with back air after that. Yeah, uh huh. Down tilt back air is a very very strong confirm. See, we were seeing we were seeing this happen against me earlier against Doug earlier. Yeah. But Mario is light enough to where that that confirm will not always work. Yes, and Mario also has a bit of hurt box shifting on his side. Charizard, yeah. no such luck. Yeah. <laughs> Charizard does not have that luxury. He will always get hit by that down tilt, and at kill percent, he will always be right at the right yep. range to die from it. <laughs> yep. yep. The back air, very nice coverage calling out that spot dodge there, and how do you get off the ledge? Great reaction from Midnight. Midnight, the only way you get off the ledge versus Midnight, apparently, is if he puts himself, like, in a bad spot. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, love yeah. that. such a slick thing that he does. I don't know if you caught that, but he does a down throw. He does an empty RAR full hop at you. So he can option select your air dodge with back air or your jump with a quick reaction up air. Yeah. It's so slick what he, do, what he does with that. I, I noticed that last advantage date during Grand. I was like, wow, this guy is nasty. <laughs> but. Okay. <laughs> yep. And there, there's that first dock from Master. Needed to get on the board somehow. Called, uh, literally ran up and just called out the roll. God, Palu is so broken. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see. Counsel here, not quite gonna take it. Yeah. Yep. Alright, get a little fair. Yep. yep, a little bit of a fair train here. Oh, we got yeah. some more fairs here. Uh huh. I would have gone for upward B there and I would have probably gotten air and, and, and lost my stock. Yeah. <laughs> but just just know, just know, that's the Hollow Slayer. That, that right there, <laughs> you can slay Hollow with that. All right, this is going to be, okay, I was going to see say this could be a critical advantage for Ian here, but. Ooh, okay, actually, Midnight was able to get the forward oh, out before okay. the Razor Leaf. <laughs> and there is that broken-ass <laughs> last frame. <laughs> that right there, we know about, We I know a thing or two about that. You know a thing or two about that. People in I chat probably know a thing or two uh, about well, that. Well, now they do. Yeah. Now they do. Pelu actually you has a couple very broken last frames on moves. There's, <laughs> there's up air, and there's also explosive flame. And also yeah. F-Tilt and down tilt. Uh -huh. But those those two just linger forever. So. But Explosive Flame is another broken one. Because the move starts looking like about the hitbox. Like uh, the hitbox is about where the like the big red ball is, right? But yep. the last frame, it, it expands really big. <laughs> it'll hit people on platforms is the big reason to catch big yeah. thing it'll catch, which is which is stupid. But yeah, we are getting into game two, right back on PS2 here. And we're gonna see an up air here. Yep, the drag down. That's the thing, right? I feel like if you're doing the fast fall up air is the way that you want to combo at low percents because uh -huh. you can do like a fast fall up air and then you can do immediate full hop double full hop double jump and air up air it'll combo. Um, but sometimes if you fast fall uh, too early, you'll get the full drag down and you won't be able to you won't be able to keep your combo going. That said, yeah. it doesn't matter because look at look at how much damage you got anyway. But like, but it's just it's just like one of the small like intricacies basically. Okay, a little bit of a back air. Oh. Ooh, dash attack, interesting. Probably was calling out a razor leaf there. Are you dying? I'm um, okay. Are you sure? All good. Okay. Um, so if my co-commentator dies, I'm not held liable. Yep. Um, uh huh. Sign right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you actually um? Can you actually give me your wallet before you die too? I think we have a deal. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, actually, that I'm surprised that never worked. Um. I feel like it's that's such a that's such a tight call out there uh -huh. to be able to do that because what that means versus Squirtle basically is that you're calling out basically jump out of shield jump out of shield in response to you tomahawking yeah um which is a tough call out to hit honestly 
especially against like Squirtle, because if you miss, like you you just did a full nair, and all of a sudden it's just like, well, um, now now I'm stuck in nair animation, lol. <laughs> and all right, Ian. Yep. Sneaks out. That, that frame trap is so yeah. dumb. Down throw back air <laughs> does the same thing. You can literally just down throw back air if they directional air dodge you frame trap them into another grab. It's so dumb. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> That was the call out, but just swung way too early. Not way too early, either. just too early. Yeah. Okay. Second forward tilt not quite going to connect there. That maybe would have sent into a tech situation or off stage, which could have potentially been a stock. All right, second. Yep, we're going to see. Yep, there, there. Up air, double up air, 44. How do you land? What will we be seeing oh, here? Yep, no yep. button. Into yeah, the, the back no, air. The no God, mix up mix up just not grinding these resources out. Such impressive advantage day from Midnight here. Uh oh, yup, the back air. Ooh, right call out, wrong positioning it appears. Wow, called out the switch there too. Very nice stuff. Oh, down air. Yup. Uh huh. Tries to call out the jump over with the up air. Okay. Oh, yep. Gets out of the way of that grab from Ian. We're gonna jab. see a jab here. <laughs> that is a that is one that we don't see very often. Shout out to JKL. <laughs> now we, just need to see, we need to see an up tilt for JKL. Yeah, I, I was, no, was going to say, let's get an up smash and uh, up smash and neutral here. Up smash and neutral, yeah, that's the JKL too. <laughs> All right, yeah, tries yep. to catch him running in there. I mean, Zard's big. I guess, no, actually at this percent I think it's fine, right? Like, I don't know. I don't tend to go for projectiles um, versus characters like Zard because so, yeah, he's so yeah. fast, right? But, yeah, I mean, Midnight able to close it out with the dash attack and... Looking primed for a 3 0 here, if nothing changes from Mastro's side. I think, are we, is Ian tweeting right now? Uh, <laughs> Brian, check Twitter. Check Twitter. <laughs> check Ian's Twitter specifically, he might be tweeting. Pokemon trainer, Wait just a second before the set goes, before the set starts. <laughs> looks like looks like there's no tweet. Looks like there's no tweet. Okay. All right, all right. I was thinking it was gonna be like I'm um, getting wobbled in my favorite game. You know what I mean? <laughs> that type thing. But classic moment. Yeah, classic <laughs> moment. Shout out to none. But we are. Uh, ooh. Yeah, oh, the reverse nair. Yep, yep, yep. Smart mix up there. Ian. Ian was talking to me about that mix up and how and how it's a very stupid advantage to mix up. Because you can send people, you can mix up people's DI with that and send them either like off stage, like Midnight just did there, or to a platform yeah. if you want them there. It's 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 a whole like thing. It's very dumb. All right, we saw an up smash. Bring it's, JKL. Yeah, we bring out. Tell them bring out JKL. All right. <laughs> here's, the, here's what I think we need to do. We need to get Midnight to play the first two games of Grands. JKL to play the next two. If he doesn't win one, we get Midnight to play game five. You're right. Does that work for you? I like this idea. Yeah. And yep, Charizard are not going to balk on the stage, so they'll just come towards us, but not make it. Yeah. Okay, just chasing that tech out. Can we see Ian potentially take a stock off stage here? Smart stuff from Midnight to not up be there, predicting the the I was going to say flood. The water gun would be released. <laughs> um, that's basically just flood anyway. Whatever. Go well. Yeah. And yeah, Ian trying to find an answer here with, I mean, I, with Squirtle, but like all of these characters too, man. Yeah, this is like, it's the kind of scenario where it's like, how do you even like get off ledge even? I, I've been trying to figure that out this whole time. Like you, Midnight does this great thing, this, this concept that I see every top Palu do, where it's like, they kind of play in such a way where it's like, they get their damage, sure, but their advantage state after that is really focused on just pushing you to the corner. Right, yep. Like, I see that too. Yep, the people that I see, the, the person I see that the strongest in is Chase of the Palu players, um, but every every Palu does it mostly. Yeah. Um, it's kind of because it feels like if you're getting back aired by Palu, it kind of can just be like a wall type thing, right? Yeah. Especially if, a, if you have a platform like here. You can just cover so much. And that's the kind of thing. It feels like every single stock, Ian gets pushed to ledge and like hasn't been able to find an answer yet because like honestly it's so hard to because midnight is so patient in advantage it's so good at grinding out ian's resources to the point where it's just like like what do you even do you have to you're gonna have to start calling out him waiting i guess right like but how do you even do that i guess you could swing with zard 
Oh, well, also well, roll there. Not, not as nice. we were talking about how. <laughs> shout out to okay. Didn't kill though. Didn't kill though. Didn't kill. Didn't kill. <laughs> that's oh, another that's shout out. Not, yeah, that's <laughs> not what Ian meant there. Tried to get a B reverse fly, uh, fire flamethrower. That's what it's called. Yep. But uh, just went off stage with it. So we'll see a last stock game three yes. here. All right. So. And Ian oh, actually, okay. Yeah. Gonna uh, keep on Squirtle here. Get these Ooh, okay. get these easier neutral wins than with the other Pokemon trainers. And was that a bounce with side B to upbeat? Yeah, it was. <laughs> wow. I mean, nice shield pressure. But at the oh, okay. That down smash was so close. At the same time, it's like. But watch how Midnight keeps you in the corner and does not yeah. relent. And that specific back air has caught Ian so many times. Down tilt fair. Back air probably not quite going to take the stock there. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. god. Uh -huh. The run through into kill move. Honestly, shout outs to Young Savage. <laughs> That's a smash four. Honestly. But congratulations to Midnight on the 3-0. And let's talk about some tournaments that are...